if either of you know any impediment. Leprosy carries with it an additional problem, the problem of stigma. Individuals can end up losing their families, their homes and their jobs, purely because of a condition that is not their fault. Can't see there, are you? I'm a draw. Ah, in. Blimey. It's very blinding. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. We've got a few questions. Um, Peter from BBC, first of all. Camilla, finally, Camilla from the Sunday Express. Thank you. Well, it's, it's quite a, a daunting prospect, but um, you know, hopefully I'll take it in my stride. And William's a great teacher, so hopefully he'll be able to, to help me along the way, and I really look, look forward to it. Of course, one of the great attributes that Princess Diana had as a royal operator was that she came from a, a noble family. The Spencers are an uh, ancient aristocratic English family. Some would say more ancient and aristocratic even than the Windsors. Um, and it meant that Diana had a, a real advantage, particularly when she was doing her charity work, for example, because she had such uh, extraordinary natural uh, royal um, instincts um, because she behaved uh, and, and uh, comported herself in a royal way. It meant that when she became slightly less royal, we admired uh, and, and uh, liked it even more. Kate, of course, uh, is not blue-blooded in the same sense. Diana was royal to her fingertips. Uh, it remains to be seen if Kate uh, is royal to her fingertips. She may, of course, um, be blessed with extraordinary natural nobility. Some people would say that's the best kind. But the royal family, ever since the death of Princess Diana, has lacked, I think, some real fashion interest that would actually get people flicking through the, the, the glossier magazines thinking, wow, this is what the modern royal family is about, and the young women are not there. The fact is, Kate Middleton is an extremely chic, stylish individual. individual. When she becomes as a princess, she's going to have all the fashion designers basically opening up their their doors to her saying please wear what we've got so that they can effectively advertise those products. I believe she will be on the front covers of magazines for many years to come.
I think because she is an intelligent girl, she should make a very good queen. I think she will be pursue her own causes, um, but she will be complementary to her husband. And that's really what, what you need in the monarchy. I mean, they have no power. They are only there because of their influence. And their influence is only relative to their popularity. So I think William and Catherine, as she will be, will be a very beautiful modern couple.